Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Eclipse IDE on your Windows 10 operating system. So Eclipse is mostly written in Java and it's primarily used for developing Java applications, but you can install some plugins related to some other programming languages like C, C++, Erlang, Groovy, Haskell, PHP, Python, and so on to develop those languages also. Now, before installing Eclipse, make sure that you have Java installed on your Windows operating system. And I have already created a video on how to install Java JDK on your Windows 10 operating system. So most probably I will uh, just put the link in, in the description so you can watch that video. And once Java is installed on your Windows operating system. We are ready to install Eclipse IDE. So just open your favorite browser and then just search for Eclipse IDE. And the first link which will appear here will be from eclipse.org. So I'm going to just click on this link. And once this eclipse.org website is open, you can see on the top this download button. So I'm going to just click on this download button and then I will uh, scroll down a little and you can see this option which says Eclipse IDE 2019-12 and then uh, the download button for 64-bit Eclipse IDE. So I'm going to just click on this download 64-bit uh, and here uh, you can see once again this download button and it's going to show you the location which is nearer to you. So now I'm going to just click on the download button, which will start the download of this Eclipse uh, Win64 exe file. Now I have already downloaded this uh, executable file. So I will cancel this uh, download and I will go to my downloads folder. And here I have already downloaded my uh, Eclipse inst hyphen win64.exe file. So I will go to the folder where I have downloaded it and I can just click on this Eclipse executable file and I will just minimize my browser and you can see uh, the Eclipse installer has been uh, started and after a few seconds you will be able to see this kind of interface and here you can choose whatever language you want to develop on Eclipse, you can choose that language. So I wanted to use Eclipse for developing my Java uh, programs. So I will choose this first option. But for example, if you want to develop C or C++ applications, you can choose this third option. Or if you want to develop a PHP on your Eclipse IDE, you can choose this PHP uh, option here, okay? So I will choose this option, which is Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And this will be the location where you have already installed Java on your Windows 10 operating system. So Eclipse will uh, recognize the Java installation on your Windows 10 operating system. And you can see the default location where Eclipse IDE will be installed on your Windows operating system. So I will leave both of them as default and also I will leave this uh, create start menu entry and create desktop shortcut uh, as default as checked and then click on install and then accept license terms and conditions. And now I can see this Eclipse Foundation Software user agreement here. So I will just uh, say remember accepted license and then I will just say accept once again. So when I choose this Eclipse IDE for Java developers, you can see in the description here, the essential tool for any Java developer, including a Java IDE, a Git client, which is a version control uh, client, XML editor, MyLin, Maven and Gradle integration comes with this uh, installation of Eclipse for Java developers. 
and in between the installation process I can see uh, this window also which is for the certificate so I will just check all these options which are uh, visible here and I will also check remember accepted certificates here and also I will check this option which says always accept certificates and then I will say accept selected and now I can see uh, that the installation is completed and I can also see this Eclipse IDE icon on my desktop and also I can see this launch uh, green button which when I click will start the Eclipse IDE on my Windows 10 operating system. So I will just click on this launch button and when Eclipse IDE starts for the first time on your Windows 10 operating system, it will ask you to select a directory as a workspace. So this will be the location where all your projects will be saved on your Windows 10 operating system. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default. And then you can also check this option which says use this as the default and do not ask again. So just check this checkbox and then click on launch. And now this Eclipse IDE has been started. So this is the first welcome window you will see when you start your Eclipse IDE. So from here, you can click on the restore button, which is this uh, small icon on the left hand side. So now let's create a simple Java application using Eclipse to see whether everything is working fine or not. So for this welcome window, I will just minimize this welcome window here. And then I will go to the files option and then I will just click on new and I will uh, just click on Java project because I wanted to create a Java project and here I will name my project as hello world and then here you can see the location of your project where it will be saved by default it will be saved in the directory you have already chosen and now the uh, use and execution environment JRE so I have already installed Java SE 13 on my Windows 10 operating system. So it will uh, give me uh, this option. In your case, it can give you uh, different options depending upon the Java version you have on your uh, Windows operating system. So I will leave this as default. In the third category here, I can see two options. Use project folder as the root for source and class files. And second option is create separate folder for source and class file. So I will leave this also as default and then I will just click on next and this will be the folder structure of my uh, hello world project. So now I will just click on the finish button and then I will just click on this checkbox and then I will just say create. So this will create this hello world project for me. For now, I just want to create a very simple Java file. So I will just uh, delete this uh, module info.java file. And now here inside this source uh, package, I will just create a very simple uh, Java class. So I'm going to just say uh, class. And the name of the class, I will name it as uh, hello.java. Okay, so I will just write hello here and this will be a public uh, class and I want to create the public static void main method inside this class also so I will check this option also and then I will click on finish which will create this class for me and inside this class this public static void main uh, function is also created which is the main entry point so let's print something using uh, this uh, program so I'm going to just write system so i will just write sy and then i can uh, just press Control shift to see all the intellisense option and then i will uh, just write system dot out and then inside the parenthesis i'm going to just print my hello world message now here if you want to increase the font size of your code so right now maybe uh, it's less visible so i will increase the font size 
of uh, my editor so I will uh, just click on windows and then preferences option here and then here I will uh, just go to the general section and then the appearance section and then here I will click on the colors and font here and here I will click on the Java option and then I will click on the Java editor text font and then I will just edit this font to a bigger font let's say 16 and then I will click OK and then I will apply and apply close so you can see the font size is increased now so once you have written your program you can just build your program and run your program so for building and running your program you have these options on the top so I will just click on this run hello world Java uh, button here which will uh, just compile my Java program and then display the result on this console. So this is how you can download and install and use Eclipse IDE on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.